So if you're involved in the anime community, well, in any way, shape, or form, you've probably heard about the new Jump Stars Ultimax League, which seems to be the next jump game that supposedly will be revealed within the next month, either at the PlayStation Showcase, the Xbox Showcase, or sometime during the Summer Games Festival, right? Now, I will say, when I first saw this, I had zero belief, and I put zero stock into this leak because the person it actually came from in terms of the leaker is someone that i had already found out to be a untrustworthy leaker because this person literally blocked me because i called them out on a leak that did not actually end up being true i've never really seen a leaker block someone frame one because they called them out on something that they had put out there to be true and it ended up being false so that right there just let me know that that person was not legit by any means, right? So I had zero stock invested into this. But then some new stuff started showing up and I actually did a little bit of research into this leak and where it originally came from. And I found this on B4chan or whatever the website is called. And this is from September 19th of 2022. So this is from last year, clearly not coming from that fake leak account on Twitter that I talked about and mentioned before, right? So the fact that this did originally get leaked last year is a definite good sign. Now we also have some new information as you see with this tweet right here coming in from the homie Revival of Katora. I'll have his Twitter link down below in the description. Now I don't know where this website is because I could not find this actually itself. But this screenshot right here about the new Jump Stars Ultimax game is very, very interesting because there are some things that just seem like there's no way in hell that could be possible. But the simple fact that I now know this leak again did not come from that account lets me put some stock and invest some stock into it at the same time. Now, this leak comes in from the man Sunk Bill. I've never heard of the man or anything like that. But in it, he says, the game is real, but most info in those old leaks is false. I'm assuming he's talking about this in particular right here. Now, he says, I've come to clear up info to the best of my ability as well as grab my own few minutes of fame before the game is revealed in a couple of weeks. Here's what the old post got right. Game name, developer slash publisher, game is heavily built off Storm 4, roster is very big, but they got the roster itself mostly wrong. Now, let me say this, there is something that I caught right away and is why I'm not putting a lot of stock and investment into this yet at this moment in time. The man says, I've come to clear up the info about uh, info to the best of my ability as well as grab my own few minutes of fame before the game is revealed in a couple of weeks. So regardless of what you guys see leading up to these next couple of weeks slash month, don't put the most stock into this until it's actually revealed because we're only a few weeks away from it. So why get your ho hopes extremely high for something that still has a chance of not happening when we'll know for sure whether it is or not within the next few weeks. So regardless of what you are thinking or feeling about this, do not put the most stock into it and do not have your hopes extremely high for them to be potentially let down. Because let's be real, all of us will be hyped no matter what, whether we think this game is going to happen or not. If it actually gets revealed, all of us will be hyped to the max without a doubt, like I said before. So again, do not put the most stock into this just because it is supposed to be revealed within the next couple of weeks. Now, concerning on what he has right here, he says, here's what I'm comfor comfortably able to share right now. I'll return after the game, re uh, the game reveal, after the reveal of the game with more info. Story mode is roughly 15 to 20 hours long with a lot of long boss fights and fully animated cutscenes. I mean, 15 to 20 hours long with a lot of boss, like... I don't know, 15 to 20 hours long for a fighting game story mode? That sounds a little bit weird to me. Like, when I first saw that, I was like, huh, I don't really know. That that seems a bit long. Like, if you were to actually sit down and, like, run through the Xenoverse story mode, I could probably run through the Xenoverse story mode probably in, like, two hours. But that's with me skipping the cutscenes. So if I don't take that into account, maybe, like, four to five hours? And that's usually where most fighting games are. And if fighting games do have, like, longer stories, it's something maybe like a Mortal Kombat situation where it's like you're actually watching a, a, a lot of movies. Now, he does say um, a lot of boss fights and fully animated cutscenes. So if these cutscenes are fairly long, similar to something like a Mortal Kombat situation, then maybe I can see that. But even the Mortal Kombat story modes aren't 15 to 20 hours long. So that right there is an immediately an immediate like red flag for me because 15 to 20 hours again for a fighting game story mode is kind of crazy when you have literal single player games 
that are only story mode that will last 20 hours. So moving on from that, we have another red flag in my opinion, and that is English and Jap Japanese voice options. Now, here's why this is a red flag for me, guys. First of all, we've never had a jump game that has had English and Japanese voices, like both Jump Force and J-Stars did not have that. Secondly, the amount of money and amount of rights they would have to get for the English voices of all these different animes would be kind of crazy because if there are 163 characters like he says right here, that's a lot of characters' voices you have to get the rights for and then pay for at the same time. So I, from that perspective, it's kind of crazy to think that there would be a English and Japanese voice option in this game. So that's another somewhat of a red flag in my opinion. Now he says story is basically just a mismatch of moments from the involved series filled to the brim with fan service. Nothing really of a red flag there. The 163 character part though is a bit of a red flag. Now he does say including alternate forms. So it could really mean like a hundred characters or maybe even a little bit less than that or potentially even a little bit more than that. But at the same time, the 163 part regardless is a ton of characters to have in the first installment of a game. Like the only game we've ever really seen come close to this in anime gaming would be Xenoverse 2 and Budokai Tenkaichi 3. Those are the only two that I could think of. Actually, Storm 4 probably is close as well. But let's look at what these games are. They are sequels of other games. Xenoverse 2 is the sequel to Xenoverse 1 and then has also had like 40 characters at it through DLC. Then you also have Budokai Tenkaichi 3, which is the sequel of Budokai Tenkaichi 1 and 2. So again, it's another sequel situation where they have the characters to build off from the previous installments of the series. And then Storm 4, just like Budokai Tenkaichi 3, again, it's a sequel situation where they have been building this roster up from Storm 1, Storm 2, Storm 3, and then finally in Storm 4. So for a game to just come out, boom, first installment, 163 characters, that sounds very, very just wrong, in my opinion. Like, that, I've, I've never seen that in a fighting game before. So, this game right now, based off of these leaks, would be doing, like, two things I've never seen in fighting games. One, having a roster this big on the first installment of a series. Two, the story mode being roughly 15 to 20 hours long. Again, most there's, there's little single-player games that are only a story mode that will be 20 hours long. So how is a fighting game going to match that in terms of story? So those are some things that are immediately red flags along with the English and Japanese voice options, right? But let's keep reading and see what else he has to say. He says some characters have moves taken from the manga that haven't been animated. This is another red flag for me because usually most stuff we see... Actually, I'm, I'm really thinking from a Dragon Ball perspective. In terms of Dragon Ball, we haven't seen stuff get uh gets in the games before it's actually animated in some way shape or form so that is why i immediately thought that would be a red flag but then i think back to jump force they had stuff from thousand year blood war arc or whatever it's called the arc that is being animated at this moment in time for bleach they had stuff in that game for it so from that perspective actually i can definitely see this being possible now i would only say it's probably certain manga slash anime i don't think that they would do it for like dragon ball considering well dragon ball hasn't done it for their own games so why would they do it for the jump game now moving on he says 52 stages 50 available from the start and the other two are unlocked through the story that that, that that's that's crazy i mean 50 50 of 50 stages again i don't know many fighting games that do this like this game right now based off of these leaks is if it were to actually be real, it would be one of the most game-changing things we've ever seen for fighting games in general. Like, again, this is a lot of stuff we've never seen in fighting games. First, story mode, like that. We've never seen one that long. We've never seen 163 characters on an initial roster in a fighting game. We've also, I don't think, really ever seen 50 stages in a fighting game that is not named Smash. Like, is there really a fighting game out there that has 50 stages? That is not Smash? So that, that's another red flag for me based off these leaks right here. Now he goes on to say for things like battle arenas slash lobbies, there's a customizable character, but they aren't playable. It's part of the game's online player card system. 
this I, I mean i maybe could see it being possible i don't really i want to say this is a red flag or a good sign or either to be honest it's just something that definitely could be possible without a doubt it reminds me it's similar of what street fighter 6 is doing with their cac's their cac's are somewhat playable but it's only playable in like the single player type of thing you can't actually take the cac online or anything like that so it would be similar to that but again not a red flag by any means in my opinion now he also says releasing fall of 2024 that is somewhat of a red flag to me because how in the hell would he already know the release date before the game even gets announced that is kind of crazy to me but at the same time not the biggest red flag the three that i'm really focusing on are actually four that i'm focusing on as terms of big red flags to me are the story mode being roughly 15 to 20 hours long 163 characters on the roster like that again just insane every time i read that i almost get a little bit you know confused because that is just insane to even think about the english and japanese voice options considering it's never happened in a jump game before that makes me somewhat skeptical and then the 50 stages that again i've never seen that in a fighting game besides smash so there is definitely some red flags here with this leak without a doubt but at the same time like i said before i wouldn't put the most investment and most hope into this game because well this leak says it's only a couple of weeks away from being revealed so let's wait out these couple of weeks to this next month and see if this game actually does get revealed and then we'll have some concrete information on it if that is the case but like i said i'm not personally going to put my hopes up and get them very high or anything like that just to be let down because well i've learned that from doing that in the past and then some of this stuff that I just read to you guys about what this game is supposed to have just sounds absolutely insane and crazy at the same time. So again, don't put the most stock into this. Let's just wait. Let's see if these uh, this leak is true in terms of it being revealed in the next couple of weeks. Because if that is true, then we can all be hyped and excited together. But I don't want a lot of you guys to be let down if it does not actually end up happening. So let me know what you guys think though down below in the comments about this. Do you think that this is very possible? Do you think that a lot of the things I pointed out as red flags are red flags for you as well? Because again, some of them just really don't make sense to me. Stuff we've never seen before in fighting games. So again, let me know what you guys think about the leak. About some of the stuff that I said about the leak at the same time. My red flags and all things like that. And your own opinions as well. But till next time, man. Thank you guys for watching. Truly hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, hope you have a good one. Peace, y'all.